Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. Now in this video of quadrilaterals, I will be discussing some basic concepts related to quadrilaterals. So first of all, we shall study about curves, polygons and its types, interior and exterior of curve, convex and concave polygons, regular polygons, properties of a quadrilateral, sum of angles of a quadrilateral, sum of angles of any polygon, sum of all exterior angles of a quadrilateral. So all these concepts we are going to study in this video. Now let us take up the first concept that is what is a curve. So a plane figure formed by joining a number of points without lifting a pencil from the paper and without retracing any portion of the drawing other than the single point is called a curve. That means whenever on a plane figure you start joining the number of points without lifting a pencil and without going back that means without retracing any portion of the drawing other than the single point is called a curve. Now in mathematics curve may also be a straight line. Now there are two types of curves that is open curve and closed curve. Now first two figures are of open curve and the next two figures are of closed curve. Now what is a polygon? A simple closed curve made up of only line segments is called a polygon. That means it should be simple, it should be closed. It is a curve which is made up of only line segments then it is called a polygon. Now there are few figures given over here. Can you identify which figure is a polygon and which is not? So the first three are the polygons as they are simple, they are closed, they are made up of line segments whereas the next two figures are not polygons because they are not closed. Though they are made up of line segments but they are not closed so therefore they are not polygons. Now we shall study about types of polygons according to the number of sides or vertices. So a figure having three sides is called a triangle. A figure having four sides is called a quadrilateral. A figure having five sides is called a pentagon. A figure having six sides is called a hexagon. A figure having seven sides is called a heptagon. A figure having eight sides is called a octagon. A figure having nine sides is called nonagon. A figure having 10 sides is called a decagon and a figure having n sides is called a n-gon. Now we shall study about adjacent sides, adjacent vertices and diagonals of a polygon. Now adjacent sides, any two sides with a common end point or vertex are called the adjacent sides of a polygon. For example, AB and BC are the adjacent sides with B as a common end point. Another example you can take like for example BC and CD are the adjacent sides with a common endpoint C. Now comes adjacent vertices. The endpoints of the same side of a polygon are known as the adjacent vertices. For example B and C are adjacent vertices as they are the endpoints of the side BC. Similarly, we can say C and D are adjacent vertices as they are the endpoints of the site CD. So basically adjacent vertices can be said as consecutive vertices one after the other. Now comes diagonals. A diagonal is a line segment connecting two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. That means whenever a line segment is connecting two non-consecutive vertices, we get a diagonal. For example, AC, AD, CE, BD and BE are the five diagonals of the pentagon. As you can see, AC, AD, CE, BD all are non-consecutive vertices and a line segment joining these vertices is called a diagonal. Now let us learn about interiors and exteriors of a curve. A closed curve drawn on a plane of paper divides it into three parts. The points lying inside the curve or the interior of the curve, the points lying outside the curve or the exterior of the curve, the points lying on the curve or the boundary of the curve. 
so basically whenever you have a closed curve drawn on a plane of paper it is divided into three parts that is interior exterior and boundary as you can see in the given figure point a lies in the interior point b lies in the exterior and point c lies on the boundary of the curve so basically any closed curve which is drawn on a plane of paper is dividing it into three parts that is interior exterior and boundary now we shall learn about convex and concave polygons a polygon is a convex polygon if the line segments joining any two points inside it lies completely inside the polygon they have no portion of their diagonals in their exterior now concave polygon are the polygons which are not convex they are called concave polygons like you can see in the first figure which is a convex polygon the line segment which is joining the interior points p and q lies wholly in the polygon so that's why it is called convex polygon whereas in the second figure we can see that the line segment joining the interior points p and q does not lie wholly in the interior of the polygon that means this polygon is a concave polygon it is not a convex polygon now let us learn about regular polygons a polygon having all sides and all angles equal is a regular polygon a regular polygon is both equiangular and equilateral equiangular means it has all the angles equal equilateral means it has all the sides equal so whenever a polygon has all the sides and all the angles equal we say the polygon is regular for example a square has all the sides of equal length and each angle measures 90 degree so a square is a regular polygon now let me ask you a question is a rectangle a regular polygon give reason so we can say no it's not a regular polygon as all the sides are not equal now a quadrilateral is a polygon made up of four line segments now let us study the properties of a quadrilateral it has four sides that is ab bc cd and da it has four angles that is angle a angle b angle c angle d it has four vertices that is a b c and d it has two diagonals that is ac and bd now let us find out what is the sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral so let abcd be a quadrilateral and let us draw diagonal ac which will divide the quadrilateral abcd into two triangles that is abc and adc now let us take up the first triangle so in triangle abc angle bac plus angle bca plus angle b is equal to 180 degree or we can say angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle b is equal to 180 degree as we know that sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree so this is our first equation now in triangle adc angle dac plus angle dca plus angle d is equal to 180 degree or we can say angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle d is equal to 180 degree because the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree so this is our equation 2 now we shall be adding equation 1 and 2 and we shall get angle 1 plus angle 3 plus angle 2 plus angle 4 plus angle b plus angle d is equal to 180 degree plus 180 degree so we have added both the right hand side as well as left hand side and further 1 plus 3 is angle a and 2 plus 4 is angle c so accordingly we shall write angle a plus angle c plus angle b plus angle d is equal to 360 degree or we can write in order we can say angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equal to 360 degree therefore we can say the sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree or four right angles now we shall learn how to find the sum of all the angles of any polygon and also each angle of the regular polygon so in general if there is a polygon of n sides we can divide it into n minus 2 triangles with a common vertex 
then the sum of the interior angles of a polygon would be given by formula n minus 2 into 180 degree. That means n minus 2 is the number of triangles and 180 degree is the sum of all the angles of a triangle. So basically we are multiplying the number of triangles with 180 to get the sum of the all the interior angles of the polygon. Now if we have to find each angle of the regular polygon of n sides, we will just divide the sum, the total sum of the interior angles of the polygon by n. That is we are dividing n minus 2 into 180 by n and we will get each angle of that regular polygon of n sides. Now let us learn how to find the sum of the exterior angles of a, any polygon. So let us draw our quadrilateral ABCD. Let us denote the interior angles as angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. Now produce the sides of ABCD in order as shown in the figure forming the exterior angles angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. Since angle A and angle 1 form linear pair, we can say that angle A plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degree. Similarly, angle B plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree. Angle C plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. Angle D plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree. Now further, we shall add the angles on either side and we shall get angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D in bracket plus angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree plus 180 degree plus 180 degree plus 180 degree. Now we know that sum of the angles of quadrilateral is 360 degree that is angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is 360 degree. So accordingly we can write 360 degree plus in bracket angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 720 degree. Basically angle 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the, in all the exterior angles of this polygon. So now angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 720 degree minus 360 degree which is equal to 360 degree. So we can say the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degree. So these were the basic concepts related to quadrilaterals which we have learned in this video. In the next part that is part 2 we will be looking at the various types of quadrilaterals and discuss about their properties. So please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a very good day ahead.